I ain't got the dip net. I put it away. It's a small one. About five, six. I know. Yeah, I've seen that. I don't want to. Oh, it's okay. No, no, no. I don't want it. Stinks. Yeah, twice with a single hook. God. Five six pounder. Yep. Two times. <laughs> God. We really need to go though. Or we're not gonna have any time at all to go down there. Because we're supposed to be leaving for home in 20 minutes and we ain't even down and have a five minute drive. Walleye on in the snow. Very first cast. <clears throat> I'm gonna go show her. Very first cast. Awesome. 
He's about 18. Bad fish. Anyway. Not bad. I'll take him. Heck yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right, guys, I got a walleye on the green grub. He's not a bad one either. He's probably 18 or 19 inches. Get the dip net. Oh, man, he's wrapped on my other damn line. You got to be kidding me. I might be able to get him. Oh, he's wrapped. Oh, mm, man. Mm, mm, mm. I got to figure this out. He's hooked good. I can grab him like this. Huh. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my God. Oh my. That's surprising. Guys, the fishing has been absolutely horrible. And honestly, we should have left about an hour ago. We've been catching little baby bluegills is the only thing that's been biting. All of a sudden, I throw my grub behind me. Very first throw. Let me uh, hold him different. Oh my God. He's a keeper. Yeah. That is not a bad walleye, guys. Wait a minute. Oh man, come on. Come on, man. Mm. Not a bad walleye at all. He's probably 18 or 19. He won't do the fin thing. I'm trying to get him to, but he won't. There we go. Shake. There we go. If I squeeze him right there, it does it. All right, guys, I'm going to get this thing measured. I may keep okay. him. Okay. See if he's 18. That's a big one. Yeah. It's not bad. Really fat. So now I know, I think I'm going to switch the way I'm fishing. Let me, uh, There we go. We 
we got a little bitty short nose gar all right and he's little bitty like i said definitely little Yeah, this is better. This is nice, real nice. This is a two or three pound smallmouth. Oh yeah, yeah, this one's nice. He's fighting hard. At least it feels like it so far. Oh yeah, oh my. God, what are you doing? Yeah, boy, he inhaled that thing. It's completely gone. Can't even see my grub at all. Wow. There we go. Yeah. All right, film me real quick. My, my paint is completely gone. Come on. A little better, guys. Yeah. That helped. I could tell as soon as he hit it, it was bigger. That really helped. Little bitty farm canal, and there's a fish swimming around right here. Crazy, his tail is just sticking up right there. You can snag it with a grub, that's got to be a carp. How did it swim up this far? all right guys welcome to another episode what we have here today is there's a big 300 acre lake behind us right here below me is the very small dam the water is flowing out of that little tunnel and it comes to the other side of the levee back here and empties into a river via this little dam right here the river itself right now is really brown but where that water comes out, there's a big scour hole. It's a lot more like a black tea colored, more of a clear. And right now it's attracting Asian carp, of course, buffalo, and other species into that drum. And we're gonna try to catch these fish. It's sprinkling off and on. And we're just going to try to catch these fish with a worm. Worm and hook. I'm using 15 pound line and she's going to use braid. Stay tuned guys. Let's see what happens. We're rough fishing it today. Let's see what happens. I am setting inside this dam on the concrete and fishing directly below me where the water comes out. In my introduction to all my fishing videos, where you see the Asian carp land on my feet and it scared the crap out of me, that's where this is. That is where I'm at. Yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade my uh, weight. 
I need another quarter ounce on there for sure oh I got something big oh my that didn't take long at all guys man what a giant whatever this is my god it, guys 10 seconds I had a fish I just lowered that worm down oh my god Well, Ma. Oh, it's an Asian carp. Or is it? Is that a channel cat? No, it's an Asian carp. Oh. Uh. Yep, Asian carp in the butt. Now, how in the heck? What well, sure felt like a real bite, like a legit bite. That's a buffalo. Awesome. Big mouth buffalo, guys. I don't know how I caught him in the butt, but I'm really questioning a whole lot. Hey! You come get the dip net? Big mouth buffalo. Five seconds is all it took as soon as my worm hit the water. And I guess I got good news. I can set right here. Look, I'm dry. I don't have to worry about the rain hitting my camera. I can just set right here and fish right below me. The water's at the perfect level. The water's two foot below me. I just, I just lower my worm right here. I just got to upgrade my weight to one more weight. It's a big mouth buffalo. I caught him in the butt. I don't understand how. It's a big mouth though. Buffalo. Yeah, sure is. That's a buffalo. Alright guys, it didn't take long to get on these fish. I told you it's not that bad of a place. Maybe we should shorten shorten the dip net I'm gonna get gloves out so hold on just a second let me get some gloves out I'm gonna need them today the green gloves I did we put them both back yeah so they're both here okay good All right, let me put them on and then I'll undo them five seconds as soon as I lowered my worm down my pole just went like this but what's weird I hooked him in the butt so how'd that happen? I, all I was doing was holding my worm there. I don't see how I snagged it. <sighs> well guys, that's, we're in a good spot. This is rough fish central right here. But that's what I'm after, buffalo. It's a really spawned out buffalo he's really thin really thin cool catch though he's got a really big head but the body of like a two pounder i don't know what that is. he's just spawned out is what it is the, he, he already spawned a little bump on the head big mouth buffalo guys about five pounds because he's so thin he's got the head of a ten pounder with the body of a three. It's because she got rid of her eggs and she's real thin for a while. I keep moving the tail. Good picture. Like that. Get one with me of the river too. Where it shows the river. Alright guys, that's a good start. I'm just amazed that I didn't get a drum. This is notorious, about nine out of 10 fishes a drum. Okay. And they swallow the hook. Okay. <sighs> hey guys, I had missed that fish the first time right when I was about to dip net him. And I was able to get the exact same fish again. And it is a spotted gar, it's the same fish. Exact same fish. Strange. This time I got him hooked behind the mouth. And uh, we'll 
Oh, he's a pretty one, that's for sure. Oh my. He's gotta be mid 30s. The record right now is 39 inches. This is dang close. It's gotta be at least 35. I may be off a little bit. Wow. Of course, even if this was a record, I foul hooked him so it wouldn't count. I'm gonna get a measurement on this thing. Oh man, they stink. My dip net is gonna stink the car up now. Thirty four. All right, thank you. All right, guys, spotted gar thirty four inches. Not a bad spotted gar. 34 inch. Two year, three years ago, this would have been a record, but now it's up to 39. I've gotten it twice, but was always beat before I knew it. All right, let's get here back. Nice little fish. What a cool catch. Very cool. Very first ever P Lip Red Horse. Pretty small one, but I'm happy because this was a bucket list fish that I've never really purposely pursued yet. So I can mark one off my list. I basically just need flyer and quill back, and that's about it for around here. Look at that red tail. So cool, man. Awesome fish. and a half I finally got what I came for I got me a male about a nine inch war mouth eight and a half it scared the ever-living crap out of me guys he came up and bit my bobber and pulled it under so fast and hard that it scared me and Virgil startled us and I threw it right back in when this happened and uh yeah I got what I came for man he don't he looks disproportional like from here back don't look it's like his body's real big but then his tail just kind of goes Neep. feeding up <laughs> like it should be more of a body back here 
All right, guys. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, guys. About eight and a half inch warm out. They got what I came for. It's a male. That's what I'm wanting. Tyler, you were wrong. They're here. Just not in great numbers, but they're here off and on. You just got to stick at, stick it out. Bobber, red wiggler, three feet down, size four hook, six pound cigar, fluorocarbon. Man, them are one awesome fish, man. I could keep it if I wanted. The legal size is seven. Hmm. Tell you what, I'm going to zoom in on it just when I put it in, like, or kind of like laying down. So I can rub it in. I got to rub it in the Tyler. It says they're not there yet. They're really not, but you know what I mean? That's why I know this, this is the best spots where all these stumps are. Hopefully most people don't see them, I'm hoping. There's a good spot way up there too. 